Right, it's now Saturday afternoon. Last things I'll be doing this week, I think, pretty much. Speed sensor goes onto the gearbox. I've got one on the Corsa, but it's like an AliExpress one and it doesn't work properly. So I'm hoping that this one is going to give us the correct pulses to go to the clocks. The speedo works properly and then I can wire in the cruise control. It's another one of the list of like massive list of silly little jobs on all the cars I've been sorting out. Like sorting the washer jets on this and that big list of stuff on the Cavalier. I've got the crank sensor to do in the Omega, but it's really cold and windy today and I don't want to crawl about underneath it there, so I'll do that next week in a milder day. See if this fits. The weather sucks today. Here's our old AliExpress, well, new old speed sensor, genuine Vauxhall one. And there's the three wires, which I've got black ignition live, blue to the earth, and I'm using red for the speed signal on this one. I was using white on the other cars, but it won't matter, so these are going to have to go to the sensor, but we're also going to splice these in. I'm going to put some extra wire on them to run to the cruise control unit, which I expect is going to sit right there. But I don't have it, it's down the unit, so the unit is down the unit. Yeah. Right, I'll go and get a bit of extra wire before I go in. Oh, well, that good thing is this is on a separate wiring plug, so I can just splice these in with the wires coming off the side to go to the cruise unit. Lovely. It is not a nice day today. Use my new BQ wire snippers. Be gone. These are pretty good. Got these last Christmas. Not as a present, I just bought them in B&Q last Christmas Along with quite a few other things because I noticed that they've actually They've got a pretty good selection of tools Right, that's a start on them So these will be connected up to the wires on here screw our sensor into the top of the gearbox which there is very little space to do let me show the little right that's the sensor in place and we've got all our cruise wires waiting right there to be connected up just needs to go on there it's all done at the car side of it We'll have to adapt a bracket for on that. Just got to hope that this sensor does work because it's a genuine GM one, so I assume it must be the right thing for that. Well, I tried to drive it, but I got about a few yards and realised it wasn't working, and I've pulled the power wire out that goes round to where the ignition switch is. So I'm just extending that because I need these wires to be up here for when the time comes to wire these in for, well, brake light switch three going to the clock uh, the stock and then one power extra for the clock which we're going to here well this is even worse that Vauxhall sensor's only giving me 10 mile an hour so I don't know what that's off of but it's not right because we're doing like 60 here I thought I would just experiment with these clocks to see these got 140, they're out like a course a Sport or a Tigra. Obviously it didn't work. I would like to get these installed at some point, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revert back to the standard non-rev counter clocks because it's got a speed sensor in the back of it, and that will give us a signal for the cruise control. We'll just have to bin off the rev counter for the time being. I would rather have cruise control and a working speedo than a rev counter, I suppose. And I just want to get it to work anyway. Decided going back to standard clocks, so I've refitted the speedo cable. And I've got the cruise control cable coming out here. And what I'm doing is I'm drilling two holes in the lip of this battery box using my right angled adapter, which is going to allow me to mount the cruise control unit here. And then line it up with the everything's now wired up what I've done is I'm using the existing 
throttle bracket for the 8 valve and I've cut off the little bit for the cruise control off that massive V6 bracket which is got loads of metal on it we don't need but I think I like this better than what I did in the Diplomat it's got that sitting nicely there you get a little bit of adjustment in the cable so your cruise control cable is alright I'm going to have to drill a little hole just in the corner of the bracket there so I can put the spring into it, the tension spring without it because it'll interfere with the cruise now but I can just bolt that in there right, we can now move to the inside of the car I like that wee bracket set up on there it goes in there perfectly I think I might redo the diplomats because that's cruise control would vary at times it's felt like it was having a bit of trouble so I'd used an all, all in one bracket but I think I'll use the two separate brackets using the original one because that definitely looks like that's got a better root there and I had to, I tried hard two sets of lovely rev counter clocks I've got the Vauxhall proper meanness spec for a GLS these ones to go in but they do have a speed sensor in the back do these have a speed sensor? of course they do but they've not got anything to put the speed into it unless it's getting it off that sensor at the gearbox Ugh. I'll have to work it out I don't want to go and buy an expensive sensor off eBay from Germany to find out that it's not going to give me the right amount of pulses I need to wash my hands, they're filthy Right, let's get these wires in for the stock Right, time to put the normal clocks in All my wiring's done from the stock And as you can see we've got the speedo cable routed back through there again Brake light switch wired in under there so all being well this will work unbelievably mean standard spec on that the later ones got rev counters in the GLS but it's standard, you didn't get windy windows, you didn't get a sunroof, didn't get anything power steering, that was about it right, let's fire these in, see if it'll work well, next episode, this will be going for its MOT now that we've managed to do all the first series of snagging on it, that should be the worst of it once that's in the road I can focus on the Saab for a bit to get it ready probably needs an alternator but yeah, productive week, managing to clear all this out work in progress, got all those storage boxes there that bonnet's going orange to go in this and we've done the cruise control in the car, so hopefully it'll work bolted in there, nice little bracket there decent install obviously we've got standard clocks, but we can but hope that it's going to work they'll lighten up oh well I'd rather have cruise and a working speedo than a rev counter just right. unfortunately I can't finish this one right now because I've not got a speedometer the cable is not engaging with the back of the clocks it would appear so I'll have to order a speedo cable for it but at least everything's wired in in place now and in the meantime you never know, I might be able to solve the speed sensor issue that we've got as well but hey, I went and stopped on my way home and put the rev counter clocks in it and wired up the sensor again I can hear the speedo cable in the back of the normal clocks but it's not engaging with them so I need a course of cable if I can get it up to about 60 miles an hour on the way home I might be able to see if the cruise kicks in because it normally needs to be over 30 but unfortunately it's wet and the roads for my NPCs like this what are you doing? it's a wee puddle just swerve out to avoid it no, it's unlikely I'll get this over 60 but I've got the Corsa sport clocks in it now a bit sportier but hey uh, the clocks aren't reading right so I'm going to have to either go down the route of doing the Corsa C thing with a relay and an ABS sensor or finding a way to get them to read properly off a sensor in the gearbox or run a correct speedo cable into it these are also reading high as well the fuel and the temper up higher than they should be I'll have to put the normal rev counters back in ah, silly me I misread the code on this it says AY this is like a 6 pulse sensor no idea where it's come off but I need a 16 pulse one to run the 
electric speedo. Very hard to get, but I've ordered an aftermarket one from America. So that will get the clocks to work. These are coming back out because the fuel and temp gauges are a bit wonky and I'll put the um, original ones back in. Now, along with very kindly getting hold of some fog lights for Fab, while I was down Newcastle way, I went on to Gumtree and I picked up the towing eye cover for the Corsa's body colour rear bumper and the chap also gave me a five door tailgate which I don't really need but you know he's wanting rid of it and I've got a wiper linkage and a couple of headrests for the back of the Corsa as well And this is our aftermarket speed sensor, 16 pulses, but it's for an American car. The end is too big to go on to this. So I can't get a bush for it anywhere. So what I'm going to do is pack this out with tape, gently screw it over the tape because it's just going to sit on there. And hopefully that's going to work. Bit of a bodge, but worth a try. There we go, a bit of insulating tape. To pack it out it's sitting on there nice and evenly and the spindle in the middle is definitely down nice inside of that so this should work now i can go and get it installed back in the car right that's him installed blue speed signal wire going to the green which is correct red going to power black going to earth and we're plugged in down there and we are on the nice and tight on the end of the speed sensor which is bolted in let's see if we've got a speedometer let's see if we've got cruise well the initial noise is good we have got a speedometer in the Corsa which works properly for the first time oh yes right being well we're going to get cruise control here to leave this one here great news is that we now have a speedometer working in the Corsa the cruise control isn't working but I'm gonna to have to go through it and check all my connections make sure it's getting voltage everywhere that it needs to make sure that the stock's all right don't have time for that today because Le Cave has an electrical fault with its headlights which is more urgent so I'm gonna leave this one and we'll come back to it when I've sussed out what's wrong and we'll get the cruise control working in this but that's good progress anyway electronic speedo working using the aftermarket sensor from America right, I've done further testing and the stock's all working properly all the wiring's as it should be it just doesn't like that speed signal so the next th step is going to be get a Corsa 1 litre non-ABS relay from a Corsa C and wire that in and see if it'll take the speed signal off that and of course try and swap the motor out as well just in case it's got a dodgy motor
Have you got a problem? Hmm? What do you think? I'm not going away.